Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Bismarck Reich, playing as that pretty big Kingdom of Prussia. So last time, we had an unexpected alliance with the Russian Empire, and we did pretty well. We expanded into the east, maybe got a little more Lebens around and stuff like that, while the Poles went fascist. But now, Austria wants to join the Reich's pact -er. pact -er. So wants to join our pact, which we do, sir. Reject it, in which they join us? Or Austria.65.b. Well, even though it says reject, they join the Reich's Pact, and I'll be honest, it's looking pretty thick. And if we know anything, especially about Germany's, we like thick Karls. Hmm. Then they join the Reich's Pact. Cool, it's accepted to the Reich's Pact. Now they're one of the members. Oh, okay, just, okay. So, if you take a look here, world tension's at 75%. Now, I had to do a couple things. Oh. Wait. Why did Gibraltar fall? The fall of Gibraltar. Um, Spain, what are you doing? Oh, what the... Okay, so here's the thing. I did not make Spain go to war with the UK. What I did do, though, was do several things. For example... Oh, no, they went to war with Egypt off-screen. That's right. I was trying to play this a little bit off-screen just so that we could get time going on because we do want to justify our war on the Rhineland. And to do that, I had to raise world tension. So basically... I forced Spain to go through most of the focus street on the south side. They went to New Mar Monarchy, Assistance of Portugal, but they were banned or they couldn't do that focus, so I made them complete it anyway just because it they were locked in their focus street, so they went born of the, the Great, Stabilization of Spain. I made them go all the way down to brand new colonialism, and apparently they could, should have completed Annex War Goal against Egypt, so they war went to war with Egypt, who's a puppet of the UK. And that's why Spain's fighting them, and now they went to war with Portugal for some reason. That's why they joined the Commonwealth. Also, I made Mexico go to war with the Central American states, and I made Brazil go to war with Bolivia and Paraguay. Just so we could get more world attention. And I made Japan go to war with both Chinas. Just because I saw one of their focuses. Uh, apparently not that one. The Qing Qing one. Let's see. I forget exactly which one it was. Continue the throne. It was over here. Peaceful reunification. I forgot, but they need to be... Oh, it might be the Japanese focus tree, actually. They need to be, like, fighting both Chinas. I, I don't exactly remember, but... I made them go to war with both Chinas. Regardless, we now have enough world tension for the world to go kaboom. Now, this is kind of a scary alliance. Beginning of last episode, we got Russia in our alliance. Now we got Austria-Hungary in our alliance. Uh, I think we're doing pretty darn well. I'm not gonna lie. We're doing... Oh, also Japan... Oh, independent India versus Southern India, but that was pretty that was happening already. So, yeah, this is looking this is looking like a pretty terrifying alliance. Uruguay joined the Commonwealth. Carlos Spain, why <laughs> Spain? Why? I would hate to be Polish right now in this universe. Uh, also, I made Persian Empire go to war with Afghanistan for funsies, just to get a little bit more world tension. So, it is what it is. It's looking a little crazy here, though. So yeah, um. It's 1942. We still have a united Germany, but you know we're we're getting close. We're definitely definitely getting close. Uh, you guys stop and then keep doing that. You guys don't really need to do that. I have my tanks here in the center, and Spain just keeps going to war with more people. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Cool. So we're still doing the Prussian Navy, which we want to get up, done and rid of soon enough. So. Mm. Good, good, good. German, di yeah, that German discipline. Ah, oh, that organization looks so good. Prussian defenders, look at that organization. 62, not as good as I thought it would be. That's okay. They would consider making 40 combat with divisions, but then again, we only have a quarter million manpower. We are on limited conscription, and actually, these are not quarters of our state yet. They're still occupied states, so the faster we go to war, the better. There goes El Salvador. 80% world tension. We got a Prussian navy. Next up, is there anything else I can do down here? Reunification of Germany. Yeah, we need to own Baden, but we can't do that. That'd be a waste to do. So, done with this, done with that, done with this. Oh, I'm getting done with this tree as well. So really, we're left with the military stuff besides aggressive and peaceful focuses. First plans. Take some generals. Well, we lose political power. I guess that's good for tanks. Side with him and Goring with Ernst Udet. I'm gonna go with the Navy. So, we could generate our navy. Naval dockyard, naval dockyard, naval dockyard, naval dockyard. 
So how are these guys? British Navy. Wait, British Navy technology trade with Assemble for America? With American cruisers? Oh, that's not bad, even though I really don't care for cruisers. I really... Well, actually, no, I care for cruisers, not heavy cruisers. But I really don't care about destroyers. Technology trade. Uh, oh, okay. oh, yeah, that, that's a good side to go down. Or Realm of the Prussian Navy. Heinrich Beichrott. Side with the destroyers. Subs, not bad. Oh, get carriers there, too. I'm going to go with the Americans. Let's see what happens. Side with Navy Technology Trade. We get another dockyard, which is great. Currently, we have eight. Can you imagine us actually having eight dockyards? Wow, that's... I might be able to build an actual fleet by the end of the game. Oh, my goodness. Um, you know what? Let's pause it real quick. Cruiser hull, that's... Oh, you're just a regular cruiser hull. You got nothing on him. That's okay. Wow, look at all this garbage. So, now... Now, since we have more than enough ships, really, or realistically, ooh, we can start doing some things that I really want to do. Oh, my goodness, you have no capital ships here. Train. We can finally start getting some naval XP in 1942. July 12th, 1942. Honduras is gone. Mexico is a monster, but uh, that's what I set up. Oh, well. Good. And how much longer will we have to wait to go to war with these Rhenish people, or Rhineland people? I uh, well, quite a while. Now, I was going to just let time go on. That was playing off screen. But then Austria joined the Reich's Pact, and I think that was pretty important. Carlos Spain is doing really well against them, though. Wow. What are the Frenchies doing? Well, we're not really sure. They don't have that much manpower either. Uh, New Mexico, Nicaragua. I really don't want to invest in this too much. Let's go and do that, though. But uh, I really want to keep making more military factories. Just factories, period, so that Russia doesn't assume leadership. So. Keep good, keep doing that. And I do have a cup of Prussian coffee here to keep us warm and hydrated. For now. Nice. There goes Costa Rica. Actually, is there any wars going on besides in Spain? I could look at Brazil and Paraguay. Oh, Brazil. All right, everyone should be able to use these now. Because we should have enough armored cars. Yes, please. So we got plenty of artillery. Hmm. How many medium tanks do we have? Let's go ahead and convert another one over. That'd be okay. Military police. Oh, do, do our... Oh, fuel refining. Very nice. Very good. 1942. How about plane stuff? Yeah, planes would be pretty important to do. Put two on there just in case. We need it. We probably, hopefully, don't. But we'll, you never know. Garrisons. I did put military police on them. Ah, so we got a little bit of army XP. Armored cars. Yes. Good, good, good. <clears throat> These brigades. Ooh. Former department. Good. Get a government staff for school. Start doing... Oh, someone got caught in Bolivia. Provisional government of the Solomon Isles. After a long and concerted effort to improve coordination and compliance between our occupation forces and local civilian authorities, we're now ready to put control of Papua New Guinea and Solomon Islands back into the hands of the local government. This new government is made up of sympathetic civilians and is ready to closely coordinate with us. They have our blessing. I get nothing. Huh. Wow, that takes... I can pause on that. Just do the French instead. Oh my goodness. Navy technology trade. Very good. Prepare for a... Prepare for make a Navy technology trade. Even more. Uh, dockyard. Dockyard. Not not dockyard, but dockyard. Well, that'd be nice to do, but we don't need to do that. I'd love to go to extensive conscription, but I'm not fascist or communist. Ooh, that does not sound good. I'd like to go to war economy, but we're not... Wait. Partial mobilization. No. I would not want to go to partial mobilization. Can I grab anyone else here? Shock? No. Is anyone else possible? I would really like... Oh, there goes Afghanistan. They were puppeted. Bowman. Hmm, that might not be bad. Heinrich Himmler. we get Heinrich Himmler? No. Since we've got time, we're just going to go ahead and click on whatever we think we can use. Political power gain? Nope. I mean, I've already clicked on most of these anyways, but... You never know. Liberal journalist? Nah, elusive gentleman. Oh, uh, that actually would be pretty good to get. Yeah, we can actually get him. Great. No, right, we can get another spy. Ah, I love Alex Jones. Ah, what a what a guy. What a <laughs> what a person. Good. Oh, government schools. Polish Lithuanian Empire comes 
back. Can they take their old former power? I kind of want to see them do that. Try. I really want them to try so we can smack them down so I can do something in this episode, please. Thank you. Standing by. Uh, go ahead and train. Do we have any other planes? This is a good time to deploy some planes. Nice. Even more nice. I should say nicer. Probably nicer. There you go. Let everyone train. Except for you, since you don't need it. So, you guys will come right there. So, they were fascist, and now they've gone down this path. Sort of interesting, don't you think? That they chose fascism, then they went to reform an empire. I guess it kind of makes sense. A pretty nationalistic, or nationalist. Oh, that's a cool flag. It reminds me of the Austrian flag quite a bit. Republic of Madagascar. No. Oh, well, they're definitely fascist. Oh, they're down here. Expand like the past. Take a revenge from Prussia. Take over the communists' home. Take a revenge from the Russian Empire. Take over Hungary. Ah, spy time. Unnamed, unnamed, or no, unnamed Peter Smith, Jonas White. Uh, I'm going to go with unnamed just because that seems actually really fitting for a spy. So, we're going to do that. And you know what? Let's spy on the Poles. Wait, you never know what the Poles are up to. Maybe they're doing some good work. Maybe they're making some sort of code breaker. We need more fuel. Hmm. Tanzania? I really don't like doing that. Tanzania? I don't like liberating these people. I don't get a choice in this. Excavation? Oh, well, hold on. Maybe they didn't form. That'd be kind of nice. Oh, I'm going to go and grab that because the fuel game for oil is really important. Yeah, don't... Don't liberate them. Ah, good. Question them. Kenya? Please don't tell me Kenya. Okay. Good. And now let us do... Side with the British Navy technology trade. But really not. You get political power. How great. I love political power. Actually, Southern India is looking pretty good, though. They're doing pretty well. <gasps> we have a dockyard? We completed some ships that aren't... Oh, look. Look at that. Nice. Oh, hold on here. We're probably going to have... Not a great navy. Yeah, a little bit of radar, that's nice. Level 2 could be better. Actually, could be a lot better. Level 2 could be better, but whatever. Uh, rapid fire. Yeah, that's nice. We have level 2 right there. Maybe grab some more anti-air. And then... You know what? Death charges might be okay to throw on these guys. Even though I think anti-air is probably going to be better. Oh, are you serious, man? We were two away. We're two away. You know what? Let's get some more naval XP first. And then I'll do this stuff. Bolivia's gone. We were so close to glory. So close. Coast? Close. Close. If anything, just make a couple of these guys first. That's fine. As we're trying to get more naval XP. Needs more fuel. Of course we need more fuel. Ah, uh, good. Keep making more civilian factories, because that's pretty much the only way we're going to be able to compete and make sure that the Russians never take over our factories. They're expanding. Oh, the following fa faction members are also nearly strong enough to take over. Yeah, Prussia still seems pretty weak. Like, uh, we could take over other, like, other German states, but we could really use, like, you know, more factories. Oh, good. We got enough this. Let's come over here. Oh, thank god. We can actually finally do that. Mm, they're on lots of anti-air. Anti-air is pretty important in my opinion. And you guys are almost done. Trash that. And we're going to keep waiting until we get those ships. But for now, keep doing convoys if you have any left over. Tungsten, right now we need some more medium tanks. Light tanks are coming along nicely. Uh, don't really want to lower my artillery. Mm, we can wait. But you know what? We can finally go to war, my friends. Are right, you guys up training? Do we have any extra planes before we do this? Oh, a little more closer. Sports always nice. Good. Three, two. Hold on. They're not. They're not done yet. Three, two, good enough for me. Let's finally unify Germany. Uh, well, I guess... How many divisions do you have? 
Well, they got a lot of manpower. I'm not really sure, but uh, obviously they don't have that many. If we're only fighting like three battles, four or five battles ma at max. Um. Wow. I mean, I guess the Bavarians really killed them off, and then we killed the Bavarians off, so. Okay, then. That was a war. <laughs> uh, that's interesting. Okay, cool. Could get more steel stuff. What do we need? We can use more guns. We can always use more guns, generally. Get some more planes. That would be pretty important. Rhineland. Yeah, I'm just taking all that. Ah, finally. Look at Germany. Now that's a good Germany. Now, I would prefer it with a Sudetenland, but, you know, you can only ask for so much. Oh, oh. Is it really worth inviting Carl of Spain? Oh, they're guaranteed. Um, is it really worth going to war with the UK right now? An ancient empire. I don't know how ancient they are, but... Mm, probably not. Uh, but that means my faction allies might call them into the war as well. Hmm... I got a little bit of fuel, that's nice. And in case the Poles want to do some dastardly deeds, I'm going to be able to do this. There you go. I wonder, can I take out the Netherlands? Is anyone guaranteeing them? Well, let's see what happens. Uh, they're definitely coming back with a vengeance. But, you know, with... We could probably take on the UK and the Commonwealth if it's me, Russia, and Austria-Hungary. But I'm not really interested right now. I want to see what America can do. If I can get America in our alliance, then yeah, I'll go, totally go to war with France and the UK, but... Hmm. Alright, well... Oh, there goes Morocco. They joined that faction. Wait. Why did Brazil join? Oh, man. We are really dividing the world up. Maybe this will turn into a three-way war. Hopefully. Carlos Spain... Interesting. I mean, I get it that Brazil would join the French pact because they're generally pretty Catholic, but besides religion, I'm not really sure. But let's go ahead and come down here. Reunification of the Germany. Takes 56 days, a little more world tension, and people are probably going to start hating us. Ah, Tahiti. Ah, I love the Tahitians. Alright, maybe I'll get one of these. Oh, I'm already trading away for these stocks. Oh, People's Independent India. What a lovely place. Region by integration. I'm definitely going to get this. That would be awesome. Five tattoos. How about we get some better strap bombers? No, nah, nah, not strap bombers. These things. Five tattoos. Good. Anything else? Or are you just here just because you want to be here the entire game? Well, it looks like it's going to be here for the entire game. Okay. Anything else? Fighters? Mm, go and train. It's fine with me. Uh, close air support. One oh four. Very good. Very good. Very good. Nice. Hopefully, we get cores and everything because I don't want to waste time or experience and equipment garrisoning these soldiers, so that kind of really sucks. We got ten destroyers, so I'm going to split you in half. Plop. Uh, well, hold on, I don't, I don't want both of you over there. And there goes Carlos Spain. Oh, they just destroyed Spain. Oh, goodness. Okay, why did the Italians join that front? Is it because I made Austrian awareness challenges the tensions? That is not good. Yeah, this is tur definitely turning out into a three-way potential. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wait. Portugal? Wait, what? Wait, why'd you join them? You were just in the Commonwealth. I'm okay with that. Please, kill each other. Just murder each other, please. But why did you kill Spain like this? Spain? A Galician free state? Why do you release Basque Country? I mean, Catalonia kind of makes sense, but... What? Ooh, fire brigades. Just... What? Please, Poland, go to war with me. Please, give me some action. And if you go to war, I mean, we're going to really just... It's going to be a straight gangbang here. I mean, it's its not looking good for them. But that means we can give Krakow back to Austria-Hungary, which would be nice. I could probably give Lublin to the Russians, maybe? And I could take the rest as a puppet? And I'll divide it up like normal. Oh, and we do have a claim on them. Or a core on them. Ooh. 
Let's see, the Dutch. As long as they're not guaranteed by anybody, they're guaranteed by them. Are you kidding me? You are such garbage people in this game, the British Empire. So, you know what? We're going to do an old classic fun time. We'll call it that. Classic fun time. Good. Oh, wait. I already set you guys up. Oh, look at all the Russians convening around Poland now. Oh, uh, just like the olden times. I could probably go down actually that way. Ah, good. Finally, Germans are going to unite. Kaiser's dream was happened. Long live Germany. From the from the Prussian German monarch, sorry, the monarch is German. Prussian German unity. Wait, what's the difference? Um, Prussian German unity. Well, they're gonna be under me anyways. I guess. Let's go. With, well, let's go with monarchists. Do we get cores on things? Please tell me. Oh no. Oh no. For the brighter Germany, yay Deutschland. Two research slots in 80, 80... Why 84 days? That seems kind of arbitrary. Like, why? Sieg Heil for Unite. We can't believe it. We're going to unite Germany. Core of the German states. Cool. And oh, This Prussian coffee is pretty good. Oh my gosh. Why am I that color? What the heck? Why am I like a... A watered-down version of Poland? Now we're united. Let's core our states. Yes. Government chooses their characteristics. After we reunited the Germany, we should make a decision about it. We need to choose for governments national ideas and national systems. Fascism ideology are the best for Prussia. Monarchism is true ideology and spirit for Prussia. Well, we already got rid of fascism. I mean, you can tell by the country. We have literally 0%. Except for Hermann Goring. He's the only fascist here in Germany. So, monarchism, the new German... Oh my god, that's... I love this. Oh, I love that. Britain and France scared about German Empire. Let's see what happens next. Germans. Well, I would be scared but with the German Empire... With the Russians. Oh, they're this color too. We are going to have Mongolia and Xinjiang and Austria Hungary. Now, this is kind of epic. It's kind of awesome. And we're going to maybe go to war over Poland. Support oil. Hmm. I love it. Maybe we should have gone fascist just so we, go to, we could go to extensive conscription. Uh, but yeah, once we, once we go to war with like, the French and the British, that'll be okay. I really want to make them go to war. How do I get them to go to war with each other? Fake peace propagandas. Oh, they have a war goal against the United States of America. Hold on, hold on. FDR. Now, FDR, we have our differences. You might like d democracy, kind of. But you're kind of monarchist, so... This probably isn't going to do much, but let's, let's maybe we can improve relations. Yeah, Polish are the winning oppressors. That's absolutely right. It's absolutely right. Honestly, it's 1943. I'm I'm a little surprised that like the Americas haven't killed each other. Like if like I was living in these Americas, I'd be like, you know what? We don't like each other. Just kill each other to see who wins. You know, just come on, duke it out. Give it a little peace, love, and firepower, please, please. Cool. Let's go ahead and make this a little better. Heavy batteries, heavy battery twos. It's still not bad. That's pretty generic. As long as they're not level one. If you've got level 1, you might as well not even do it. Well, not quite, but you're really struggling to get to level 1. You know what? That looks sort of nice. Hmm. I can make them speedier. Hmm. We get less armor. I really don't like less armor. Well, let's go with battle cruisers. I don't, usually don't use battle cruisers, but I love battle cruisers so much. A little, a little pocket battleship. I love it. Hmm. If I throw this on, we do get more heavy attack, which lowers our speed, but I might need a secondary battery. Nah, who am I kidding? We don't need secondary batteries. Give me more big boy attacks. God dang it. Ugh. That's okay. Soon we might be able to make a navy. Maybe. Alright, so... Now what? After we get two research slots? I mean, it took us until 1943 to do this, which is kind of extreme. Oh, we started with the Kaiser, too. State visits. I mean, yeah, state visits are nice, but Treaty of Königsberg. Kind of want to see what that does. Military works. Yeah, I would say overall, like I said in the last video, wow, this looks pretty good. More daily political power cost for gain. They really need to like cut down how long these focuses last, just because it doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, it took us until 1943 to re reunify Germany, but still, like, come on, man. 
And actually, we still have... We have 194 factories, which is really great. Which we're doing better now. But we still need more factories so that no one takes leadership over us, which is important. Do we have any resistance besides in these eastern territories? Uh, no, 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 no. South Africa. Yeah, Tahiti. You guys are looking pretty awesome over there as well. No, we're doing, we're doing really well, man. We are, we are doing really well. Very, very well. Keep expanding. Keep building yourselves up. How much longer will it take till we go to war? About 20 days. Man, this game makes it kind of laggy. But, you know, it's 1943. What do you expect? Oh. Oh, yeah. At first I thought we didn't have this guy, but between the mods, sometimes I forget where the uh, theorists are. Hmm. Infant. Wait. Where do you. Shona? Oh, man. If I could get two Shonas, that'd be amazing. Plus, air support. I might use that. I almost never use that. Fleet logistics. Uh, what do we have for our military staff? Drill. Speed. Attack. Army offense. Fuel refining. Good. It's 1943. Let's grab some more output. Even though. Besides for tanks, we really don't need it too much. Government staff for schools. Good. Oh, look at that. Now that's nice. The infrastructure will be built up soon enough. I'm not too worried about that. It's good. Just do it anyways. Ah, finally we can go to war. Finally. Hopefully no one's just uh, guaranteeing their independence. Yeah, our guys are still training. Whatever. Let the tanks go in. Uh, can we call our allies in? Oh, we already called them in. It's fine. Three. Two, you might be able to win, you might not. We're not, I mean, we're not that extremely strong. Oh, it doesn't look like it. That sucks. Now I actually have to think about this. Cool. Everyone pause. Everyone go this way. Oh, close to support two. Very nice, very nice. 1943. And, oh, yay! Two more slots. We're going to go aggressive because aggression is fun. It makes the world a much more interesting place. Uh, we're good with that. Let's get some more artillery. Let's also grab some engineering, because I didn't do that one yet. I mean, if these guys don't want to come in, I might not give them territory, so... The choice is theirs. Nice. Got our tanks. Ready to go. Ready to push, 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 push. Cut Krakow off from everyone else. Make Krakow German or Austro-Hungarian again. Ah, look at that. There's the French soldiers. So please, who's going to be the powder keg that just spark a three-way world war? God, I hope it's not us. <laughs> wow, they actually threw a lot of divisions there. Man, these tanks really are not good. I mean, they do have a lot of light tanks on them. So be it. Do it like that then. Give him a little more time to rest up. What if you did that? If we do it piece by piece, so be it. That's fine. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Build, 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 build. 80%, 90%. Oh, 100%. Yeah, just keep building a lot of this. You guys should be able to win. I mean, oh, they can, oh, that's why. They can pierce us. Mm. Go need more tank production. Go need more of this as well. So... Be all right. That's fine. Well, at least we're getting a little bit of action here. How? How is half an hour already passed by? How? How? This doesn't make any sense to me. Nice. We got our first light cruiser out. Good. Let that division leave. Let them move around a little bit first, so we can get some more tanks in here first. I'm very surprised that my allies don't want to join the war. But alright, whatever. Call him in as well. Get to Radom. We're gonna go try to split these guys in half. Oh, the Poles. Johannes Smith has been wounded. Well, he's pretty good on attack. Oh, god dang, you better hold, son. Hopefully we've got enough divisions to help hold the entire line here.
good. That one guy hold there. Now we've broken over the river because the horses can't do very much. You guys. Hmm. Uh, at least the Russians are holding the land for now. Actually, you know what? Make sure that we keep pushing up this way. Yeah, they really don't want to join me. Oh, we're out of fuel, too. That's why. Duh. It helps if we have fuel. Nice. We got kicked one of those guys out. No! Captured, I see, huh? We must rescue the person. Operations. Rescue captured operatives. Oh, become spy master. Uh, that would be great. Yep, that's what I thought. We can win there. That's fine. Well, our general's learning more, though. That's good. And supplies. Very, very bad. What else is new? What else is new? Seriously, get in the war. Let's have you guys back over here. We need logistic companies. That'd be kind of nice. You know, if that's the case... Hmm. You know what? Pull these guys over here. Next up, we shall do Expand a Glorious Empire. We're going to wait for the infantry to get over here. Then I'll move my tanks over to this side. And hopefully smash a couple horses. Alright, guys. Please stop. You're moving over. That's good. Wait, who's down? Oh, yeah. Good. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, they're kind of in there. So, I'll move the tanks this way. All we need are these two provinces. Good. So, we're going to do a little switcheroo. I probably lost... Yeah, still less than I thought. Makes sense. Guys. Come on. It's only the poles. We've done this before. War, ooh, war bonds could be really useful right now. Let's do that. Nice. Even though military factories would be actually really good to build right now, I still need more civilian factories so no one overtakes me in leadership. Good. Get even better artillery. Alright, armor. Good luck. Get the infantry in there as well. And don't want to forget about planes. How about another 100 close air support planes? There you go. There you go. We did it. Immediately break that way. You guys help support the attack this way. Thank goodness. Taking longer than I thought. Poles are pretty strong. But then, it didn't. then again, it's 1943, so. And we have no fuel. It is what it is. Cool. Just around the lower portion of Poland here, we split Poland in two. With the trick of panzers, with a simple panzer trick, we split our Poland into two. Oh, I love it. Now let them starve. Um, Jessica, you all smooch smooch, we'll take you. And you can do anti-resistance stuff for now, or anti-spy stuff, because there is some not good people there. Ah, good. Nice. Maybe start doing the French up in Valonia. Alright, so I'm going to start these guys out a little bit longer so it makes it easier for us to kill them off. You guys from over here. Ah, uh, look at that. Naval has to be nice. Don't want to forget this. Let time go on. Let them starve. We need time for them to starve, so. And more anti-air. That might be a bit too much. Yeah. Nice. Now we have a decent navy. Not the most optimal, but you know, it is what it is. So between this episode and the next, I'm going to try to find a way for everyone to kill each other off. Because this is taking a while for some sort of continental war to happen. Yeah, I don't know why you're not killing each other. It doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, it's set up so that they kill each other, but they don't want to die? Why not? 
All right, we've waited long enough. Everyone, come here. Expand a glorious empire. Mobilization speed. Build a festival. That actually sounds like a really, really good idea. <clears throat> we could do this, but... Hmm, that's okay. Passive defense would be pretty good to do. Gonna do... I can't go there yet, which makes sense. Get Owen Rama. Oh, let's go to extensive conscription. That'd be good as well. Oh, did I... Oh, goodness. <clears throat> I can't get Rommel. And we won. Nice. Closer sport. Nope, can't do that either. God dang it. What can I do? <laughs> oh, don't do that. Alright, let's get rid of that last armor piece. That last light armor. Get rid of the... <clears throat> We're not going to get rid of the light tanks because we could use them as recon. Get some more resource extraction too because we could extract a little bit more for now. All right, the tanks are up here, ready to go. They're not looking too great, but you know they'll do fine. Fine enough for now. Help them out. Help them out. Move them up. Move them up. Build home. Got nothing for us. That's fine. Oh, oh yeah, we made Wilhelm the third of Field Marshal. That was not a strategy. That is definitely a strategy. Come on. You guys are doing great. I'm going to split these guys up even more. Oh, we might not be able to push that way. Let's see if we can do this. Nice. Very good. Nice. How about more starvation? Felix? Uh, more passive defense. Oh, it's a recon. He's an old guard, but eh. Very nice. Keep building, keep building. Alright, now this won't be, take too long to do this portion. Hey, everyone come towards center. Good. Go and come to Lutz. Good, good, good. And they go bye bye. Let everyone come around here. We'll get. Why did you join? Who let you in? But you know, that's okay with me, you know, whatever. Uh, uh, oh. Ah, see, there's the Chinese United Front. They're both fighting the Japanese, which is exactly what I wanted. All right, let's end this war and end this episode by taking Warsaw. Everyone, together for victory. Well, maybe except for my allies, which I'll give, like, Krakow to Austria-Hungary, so it makes it more strong, probably, or make them stronger. Other than that, I'm going to just puppet Poland, since the Russians did nothing here. Well, I don't want to do that. <clears throat> well, you know, I guess I have to do that. All right, see. Austria Hungary have anything here? Occupied territories. Uh, you know what? I said I had the state transfer to a mod, so you know what? You can have this. Thank you. That looks oh, that looks really bad. Um in exchange for this, you can have Lublin. Which doesn't make it look very good. But we're gonna make sure that this happens instead. So the board core isn't so bad. Russia already has a lot of territory, so. Uh, the Viv? <clears throat> yeah, this isn't... Well, that could be worse. But, you know what? That's where we're going to end today's episode. It's definitely, definitely very interesting. And we can finally start going to war and doing stuff again. Even though our soldiers, our soldiers are not the greatest. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow with Carl Meyer and a fifth spy. Thanks for watching. Have a great... Rest of your day.